All right, you know, one of the things that we started last year talking about is amping it down. Dave's talked about it before <coughs> in the class and discussed how you do it. Um, amping it down, you go slower and straight, slower in corners. Um, watch your um, breaking point, maybe you want to break a little bit earlier, less throttle on the exit, and you slowly build your ride. Watch the um, racers who are qualifying on TV, um, setting their grid position. They don't go out in that first five minutes and try to turn off or turn as quick as lap. They are slowly building their, their bike up themselves up for that last 15 to 10 minutes so they can go out there and turn a good lap. They are slowly building their, their bike up themselves up for that last 15 to 10 minutes so they can go out there and turn a good lap. They're checking suspension, tires, their ride, the bike, everything about it, and they're building themselves up for when they're going to go out there and push it. The same, you do the same thing on a track day. The first session, you go out there and round robin. It's slow and it's controlled. We want everybody to ride within their means. After that, we're going to let you go. The next session we go out, we're going to let you go. Unless you want to do another round robin, you want to do another round robin. If, um, if you, this is the first time I do. First time MSRH. Okay. First time MSRH, make sure you work with the, your instructor this the next on-track session, okay? Because they're going to go out there and kind of reinforce the lines to turn up a couple more laps with you and show you the line. So if you've never been to MSRH, make sure you work with your instructor first on the um, next on-track session. And, and it starts off in the, on the second session, you go out there and you pick up the pace a little bit from the round rock number we left off. We weren't able to really pick it up. So you don't want to go out there and try to go from two where we left off to six. You want to slowly build it, okay? So you don't want to go out there and try to go from two where we left off to six. You want to slowly build it, okay? What gets you in trouble, it's like with anything, you can't go from one to seven. You know, you go out there and try to run without stretching or whatever. It, it just doesn't work. The same thing here, you got to slowly build it. Um, end of the day, you work on stuff all day long, so in the afternoon when traffic kind of clears out, you will go out there and try to apply everything you've been working on. Based on those results, you set your plan for the next one. So that's how you ramp it down. You just slowly build yourself. So that's how you ramp it down. You just slowly build yourself up. Yesterday I did a private day with Brand, who does our art class. Every single session I was working on something except for the last one. And I went out there and applied everything I've been working on. So now I know what I need to work on next time. So try to think of it that way. And we want y'all to have something to work on next time. Why? We want y'all to come back. Okay.